Hello, everyone. I want to share something with you. Guys, we all know that Sarah Michelle is a multi-talented individual. We know that, right? Writes for Elle magazine. Just a great writer. Uh, she's a model. She's a researcher. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. Well, what you guys didn't know is that she's been fighting cancer for the last two years. More specifically, it's multiple myeloma. Well, yesterday evening, she lost this battle. So Sarah is no longer with us. Now, when I heard this news, it broke my heart. And the reason for this is that my uncle died of the very same cancer. And I knew exactly what she was going through. It, it just breaks my heart. She literally just turned 24 years old on May 15th of this year. So just to give you a little background about her and I, she became a sub just like all of you. She then found me on Facebook and we started to talk. And she was talking about all kinds of stuff like Mars, Moon, and everything else. Well, over those two or three years, we became close. And it was funny. We'd have a lot of laughs and stuff like that. And then sometimes she'd say, okay, Christopher, I'm going to go hang out with my friends, maybe have a couple of drinks. And I would tell her to just make sure you're careful and, you know, hope you have a designated driver so you get home in one piece, things like that. And, of course, you know, days go by. So she would be showing each other photos, all kinds of stuff about, you know, like I said, the moon. Uh, that's where some of her work came from that we covered. And then she had a situation with, I guess, uh, the person she was dating at the time. And I told her right out, listen, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told my two daughters. You know, if the bads outweigh the goods, it's time to move on. It's as simple as that. So we chatted a little bit about that. Well, as the years went by, she told me, she said, you know what? I consider you my stand-in dad. That's the way she put it. And you know what? That made me feel great. Um, just an awesome person. I considered her my daughter. Um, so it's a great loss to me and, and, and the community, as well as a lot of people that she's touched. Just a great personality. Um, it, it just breaks my heart to see somebody, especially that young, uh, to lose a life to this. Near the end, she was trying to get her thesis on Antarctica finished up, and she's put her blood, sweat, and tears into this thesis. This is the reason why I turned her work into like a scrolling book. My whole motive behind this was to have her work live on uh, through me and everybody else here. So I would do what I could to motivate her. You know, she was trying to finish this up, finally got the work done that she wanted to get done, got it on her site. I applauded her for it. Great stuff. She's also had a really great friend. Her name's Julia uh, that had her back every step of the way. And she's pretty much basically another angel, if you will. I just can't say enough about these people who took care of her in her last days. And, you know, it's just, you know, gotten real bad. And these people were there for her. God bless them all. And, uh, you know, like I said, we've lost a great researcher. I've lost a great friend and who I considered my daughter. She was just a very positive person, very outgoing, very bubbly, just a great person all the way around. And like I said, it's just a shot to the community that we were losing such a fantastic person. During the time I've known her, she has changed my life. She has driven me to get into this stuff more, drill harder, because she's seen good things in the work that I was doing. But she had that kind of personality. She's seen good in everybody. Again, young lady is just amazing. And again, she will be missed. Peace to everyone. Rest in peace, Sarah. You'll be missed.